Good Monday night to you and thank you for joining us. It's the news feed late night. I am Tabu Mduli. The Patriotic Alliance came out third in last week's by-elections, winning two wards from the Democratic Alliance in what some are describing as a big gain for the small party. The party also made an impressive showing in Beaufort West, taking 24% of the vote, just 1% below the DA. Are these signs of what is to come in the local government elections? Patriotic Alliance leader Gayton McKenzie joins us now to unpack this and other issues. To be a part of the conversation, you can tag us now on Twitter at Newsroom 405. WhatsApp your questions and your comments to 072-110-5584. Gayton, it's good to see you. Hello, very good to see you and thanks for having me. Pleasure, only a pleasure. I mean, uh, you've snatched two wards away from the... The DA, but here's their response. They say they are unshaken by the inroads that you're making. You're too small a party, I quote, to cause any real damage. <laughs> I don't blame them uh, for saying that. You know, uh, it just show you uh, that it's not only two odds. We beat them in six months. Uh, we met them four times, and we beat them all four times. Uh, we took a word from them in Reveille. What 68 Revelli Pennyvale? We took El Rado Park. We took El Rado Park again. He should be embarrassed. The DA should be embarrassed to, to even be casting uh, aspersions on our size, if I can put it that way. Yeah. Uh, the DA is that. Uh, that is just bus mentality speaking. He said before the election, a day, a week before the election, he went to El Rado Park and he gave a statement and he said, I'm telling, I'm. The leader of John Steinis and the leader of the DA is telling the people of the Rado Park, vote for this council. And I was just laughing because he said if they, he thinks the Rado Park is, a, is his farm where he can give instructions. There's no way in any predominantly colored area where the DA can ever beat Patriotic Alliance. Yeah. Never. The time is over. Give me one or two reasons why you are winning wards in predominantly colored areas. I think, you know, which an uncomfortable truth that people don't want to talk about is the fact that colored people at first voted with the ANC, Mandela's ANC. That's why the ANC ruled Cape Town. That's why the ANC ruled El Rado Park. That's why the ANC ruled uh, Reveille. And then the, if the ANC then totally neglected colored people. I mean, colored people are the forgotten people, and people do not want to talk about it. And then the people migrated to the DA. The DA did worse than the ANC. They think I stay in a suburb, and there's no potholes where I live. And in El Rado Park, it's Pothole City. And the people in El Rado Park's vote is the same vote as mine staying in Sanders. So why the people are leaving the DA is because they're, they're home. They found a home. The PA is a home, you know. The PA is a home for each and every person in South Africa. But every, people don't admit it, but the ANC is predominantly, the base is black. Yeah. EFF the same. Yeah. The DA, Freedom from Plus, is white. Yeah. We are unashamedly to say that the colored people is home in the, D, in, the, in the PA. The DA is just making a noise. Yeah. Results speak. Numbers don't lie. The numbers are there. We have beaten them. Because colored people in this country, my brother, they are neglected. Our people don't get bursaries. Yeah. Our people do not even get considered for jobs. Yeah. Series of colored people, I'm telling you, they landing up in the dust, in the burn. I mean, in, in Etiquini, let me make you a physical, exa uh, uh, proper example. In Etiquini, the government, the ANC government in Etiquini said, everybody can, can, buy, can come and buy a car except colored whites and Indians. They said that. Yeah. They, they said colored uh, whites and Indians are not allowed to come and buy cars, and this is state cars at the auction. Yeah. Now, you ask yourself, what's happening here? They have never thought in their lives that colored people will organize and agitate and stand up. We have risen, my brother, and we are unstoppable. There well, will I, be are, you, are you not running the danger of um, campaigning through identity politics? Right? No. And let's get straight into the debate of identity politics. They serve to divide society more than uh, galvanize them and unite them on, 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 a, on a singular cause. The people that fear division are the people that have been oppressing our people. And if standing up for ourselves, 
if rising up and saying this is not right, if that makes us, that, if that puts us in a situation where we're involved in identity politics, so is it. But let me just go a bit deeper. When you see uh, the ANC during the struggle in 1983, the constitution of 1983, gave colors and Indians limited rights through the tricameral parliament. Yeah. Most colors rejected that. They said, no way. We don't want Ellen Hendricks. We don't want to be part of what this 1983 constitution is giving us. We want to be with our black brothers, our white brothers, and our Indian brothers. They rejected that. That's why we joined the struggle. What happened after 1994? The ANC came and they said, colored people, you are not African. Legislatively. They put it there. The colored people are not African. They are now considered black. And colored people get nothing in this country. Last weekend, 20 murders, 20 colored children died last weekend, over the weekend. But they only talk about Palestine, which they should be talking about, but not excluding colored people. So what I'm saying to you is that PA is not a colored party. It has its base in the colored community. Kenny Konene is a leader in the PA. He's not a colored person. You can say, in Pennyvale, we beat the DA, we beat the ANC, and Pennyvale is a predominantly black area. We beat the, sorry, not the ANC, we beat the EFF, which is a predominantly black party. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, all of a sudden, when they were excluding colored people, they were not talking things like, oh, you are being diverse, you think, we've been looking at them, just ignoring our people. And as a person, I just said, you know what, this is not right. Yeah. We have engaged people, we've engaged people, and we said, you know what, we are building our own table. And I can tell you now, there shall be no government, and this is not wishful thinking. Yeah. The results speak for themselves. Right. No Let's government. Look those results, you've uh, obviously taken a, a huge share uh, of the DA vote, particularly in El Dorado Park, but you are unlikely going to affect the ANC vote share. No, definitely with, not. With, with the kind of tactic that you're taking. No, definitely not. Let me explain to you. In Beaufort West, we took 24% from the DA and we took 22% from the ANC. That's massive. In Pennyvale, we took 13% 13, 13 yeah. of the ANC. Yeah. In Annadale, we took a share of more than 70% of the DA's but, vote. But, but that, that, is, that is within the wards, right? It's not overall a downright majority. In, in, in a metro, in a, in a, in a particular uh, province, for example. If you look at province, 2019, you received 12 votes. Yes. Provincially. When yes. in 2016, you had 165. Yes. Right? How many votes did we receive in Ennerdale, in, in El Rado Park, in, in the same year that you're speaking about? What we received to that point? 9,000 exactly. more that, votes. That, that, that in, the, in the ward, you will have that kind of impact. But are you going to be able to extend that when you're looking at province, when you're looking at taking over the metro and actually maintain that level of dominance? My brother, we are a seven-year-old party. Yeah. And if you go on results of today, we came third of all political parties that took part. What we are saying to you, the PA that you saw seven years ago, yeah. four years ago, even five years ago, the P what you see now is a manifestation. It's a manifestation of being humiliated, yeah. being ignored, be, being overlooked. And the people with the death of Nathaniel Julius, Julius yes. we drew a line in the sand. Right. And that line was evident in Beaufort West, in Reveille, yeah. in what 17, in what 18. All I'm saying to you, and I want you to, 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 to quote me on this. Yes. No municipality in this country, nobody will get an outright majority. The PA will not only be kingmakers in, in, in the city of Johannesburg. We are going to Cape Town. We are going to unseat the DA in Cape Town. Yeah. We are going to, on the 29th of January, on, on the 28th of June, there's a by-election in Kimberley. Yeah. We are going to, to, to take that word from the DA. So what I want to leave how, you with... How are you going to take the, the word from the DA, or even how are you going to take Cape Town from the DA? Uh, the PA does not have a, a record of governance. All right, look at the people that have a record of governance. Yeah. You say the ANC has a record of governance? Rahima Musa Hospital does not have water. A hospital. And you say they have a record of governance? You go to Cape Town, you say the DA has a record of governance. The people in Langa, Kuguletu, are staying with rats. Rats. 
The people in, 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 in Alexandra are living amongst rats, where the majority of ANC leaders are coming from. If that, my brother, is a record of governance, yeah. then you are complimenting me if you say I've got no record of governance. Because we have been governed by the same people for too long. Mm -hmm. And doing the same thing over and over again does not give you experience. It's just you doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. The PA is here to stay. Yeah. The PA is growing. We are a God-fearing party. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a God-fearing party, you fear the Lord. Yeah. And if you fear God, it's very hard for you. It's very hard for you to oppress the people of God. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to you is that they laughed at us. Nobody's laughing today. What you are going to see on the 27th of October, it's, uh, it's something that will make what you see today, that's why you called me, it will make this look like a, like child's play. Yeah. We are coming for our refund. Yeah. We are coming for years and years. If truth be told, we are the first nation in this country. Mm. We are the indigenous people in South Africa. Mm. But look what happened. When John van Ribe came here in 1652, who did he find here? He found our people here. Mm. And what did we say? We welcomed them with open hands. And we say, we did, we're going to do what our forefathers did. Mm. We have black people. We have white people. We have Indian people as family. Yeah. We are the only race that has white in you, that has black in you. Mm. My grandmother is white. Mm. She's white. Mm. We, my grandfather, my, every colored person you meet got all of that. So we will never oppress a black man. Mm. We will never oppress an Indian man. Mm. We are the chosen ones to make sure that we bring this country together. Where's the rainbow nation today? There's no rainbow nation in Colorado. We'll talk about that a little bit when we continue. What will happen of a society where white votes white, uh, uh, colored votes colored? What are we expecting black to be colored blind or must black vote black? That is the question, of course, we'll put to Gaten McKenzie, leader of the Patriotic Alliance, when we continue next. By the way, to be a part of the conversation, and if you have some questions for Gaten tonight, drop us a tweet at Newsroom 405, or otherwise, WhatsApp your comments tonight on 072-110-5584. The Newsfeed Late Night continues next. Stay with us. Everyone, the Newsfeed Late Night, thanks for staying on. Our reporting continues now here on Newsroom Africa, Channel 405, in conversation with Patriotic Alliance leader Gaten McKenzie. You're a part of this conversation. Send us uh, your WhatsApp message. Message is now 072 We'll take your questions and your comments for Gaten. So, Gaten, before the break, as I was saying, what will happen in a society where uh, we shift you know, from the kind of voting we've been seeing to identity voting now, where white votes white, as you mentioned, Freedom Front Plus, black votes black, Indian votes Indian, colored votes Indian. What happens to that society? It will become Armageddon. It will become Armageddon. If black votes black, colored vote colored, white votes white, we'll be going to Sodom and Gomorrah, Armageddon. But you see, that is a media creation. We are not a colored party. We are a colorful party. Let me make you one example. Beaufort West that you've just complimented me on, that word did not have colored people. It had black people and it had white people. And we did excellently. Pennyvale, Zamampilo. I've got, no, got few colored people living there. I don't even think there's colored people in Zamampilo. We did excellently. The issue here is fault finding by the big parties. Yeah. All of a sudden now when you see why they think we are a colored party, we are a colored only party, it's because no party speaks for colored people or mention colored people. Yeah. The moment we rose up and we said we put colored people also in the, 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 in the discussions, they're like, oh, they talk about colored people. Because it's such a rare occasion that nobody speaks about colored people. Yeah. In this country, it's only colored people that pick up their, their children every week being shot dead. Yeah. Between 20, 2014 and 2015, yeah. 2014 April and 2015 April, yeah. every day a colored young man was shot dead. Every day, yeah. seven. Yeah. Between 2014 and April... A, a, a lot of people are saying, why, why, why don't you do what you did in El Dorado Park during these by-elections in, in, in Cape Town, in the Cape Flag? But that's what we're doing. That's why I'm moving to Cape Town. But let me just finish this one I'm saying to you. I'm coming to the one of Cape Town. 2014 April, 2015 April, seven young colored men were shot dead every day. Yeah. And you know what was the hashtag in this country? Save the rhino. Mm. Nobody worry about colored. We are tired of asking, we are who we've been waiting for. And because we've been spat on, we've been humiliated, we have been, we've been made, nobody sees us.
In the city of Johannesburg, there were two, three or four, five colors working there before we came there. Yeah. What do we do? We say, all right, we're building our own table. Mm. So I'm saying to you, the PA is not a colored party. And one thing yeah. the PA people will never do, they will never, never, they will never, my brother, oppress people because we know how it is for your CV to be thrown in the bin. We know how it is for your child to be shot and to lay there and you are waiting for the ambulances and you're waiting for the mortuary car to come and it is raining and your child's body is there and they are scared to come into your rattle park and the dogs are licking your dead child and you can't touch that because it's a scene of crime. Yeah. That's what our mothers it's, go it's, through. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a gruesome picture. It's a gruesome picture that you paint and a gruesome uh, uh, narrative that uh, uh, you, 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 you speak of of what has happened to, to the colored community uh, in, the, in this country. But let's talk about the fact that um, uh, obviously with the ANC use, losing its majority, there's been a shift in this country uh, in, from a one-party system to, to coalition politics. Now, at some point in Nelson Mandela Bay, you had the, the upper hand, so to speak, because you were the kingmaker there, yes. right? Um, in 24 hours, Right? You went from refusing to pass budget uh, to accepting a, a seat um, uh, in, 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 in the mayoral committee. I mean, look at those contradictions. What are you in it for? Are you in it for the positions? We're not in it for the positions. If well, you had the power, why didn't you use that power to influence the system to, for, for a change as opposed to just giving it up for, for the next available seat? My brother. I don't understand what you mean to say we are in politics for power. I don't understand. You see, you've been so used to the ANC that's in power and they still march against themselves. Yeah. They don't know what to do with power. The PA is in politics for power. Yeah. We ain't going to play with power. We went into Nelson Mandela Bay. We told Ethel Trollope, hire so many people, colored people. He didn't. We removed him. We told Bobani. He didn't. We removed him. We met with the DA and they had another plan. We removed them again. Then the ANC came and they thought we will not remove them and then we removed them. So what I'm saying to you, we are not in politics to relax and to earn salaries. Yeah. The difference between me and all these political leaders, I don't, I'm not into politics for a salary. Yeah. I don't benefit financially from politics. Yeah. I give money to politics. Yeah. So if something is not right for my people, then we remove you. We don't care what the media is going to say, that we are unstable. I'm saying to you today, the P there's no government that shall be formed in this country. Yeah. Because our people understand their rights now. It took us, when you speak about seven votes and 20 votes, that time we were still in the furnace, teaching our people, do this, do this, do this. Foreigners, that illegal foreigners are even living better than our people. Yeah. In our South Africa. Let the, I wanted to try, we'll get to it, because I wanted to talk about that. Maybe that, that, that you raise it, let's talk about it. What is, what is, what is your stance on, on the open border policy? There, if the PA takes over, there shall never be an open border policy. There shall be a closed border policy. We shall build walls like Donald Trump. We shall put soldiers there. If how, we how does can, that even begin to make sense, uh, Gaten? But you're not giving me a chance to when, answer but, you. But you are saying vulnerable people must close other vulnerable people outside, and you're saying that is My absolutely brother. normal and must be acceptable. Let me tell you. A fit, let me make you an example. Yeah. I invested a lot of money in China to start something in Guangzhou, a business. Yeah. We did everything. We got lawyers. We did everything. The moment we had to get our certificate. They said there's only one little problem, that we cannot be in Guangzhou. We gotta be in the four or five streets outside Guangzhou. We inquired why. They say they leave that for the locals. The same happened in Dubai, where they moved us to SEZs, which is special economic zones. So let me tell you, including yourself, you've all lost your minds. Our people are the ones not having jobs in this country. A, a, a country, primary objective, yeah. a state. Do not confuse yourself as a human being with a state. Yeah. You've got a conscience. You've got a choice. A state has none of that. A state should, doesn't have a choice. A state has got one thing and one thing only, to look after its citizens. If there's war here now, mm. tell me, if there's war, who's the Americans going to pick up? Americans. Only, not Americans, only Americans. Right. The British, that's why they have embassies. Mm. 
They're only going to pick up them. So these people have a government. So if you give me a chance, if you look at the service industry in South Africa, all the restaurants is only illegal foreigners. If you look at the shops in our areas, it's only Somalians, illegal Somalians that does not pay tax, that does not have proper things. So I'm unapologetic today to say all this leadership in this country have lost their minds. Our people must compete against people that came here, that came here from Somalia, that came here from Serbia, that came here from Bosnia yeah. for the same hospital facilities, yes. for the same housing. Black people and colored people and Indian people, the indigenous people here must stand in lines yeah. to be helped. If the PA takes over, and my brother, listen to me what I'm going to say to you now. Mm. If we take over as the PA at 9 a.m. in the morning, yeah. at half past three, all illegal foreigners will be in jail or outside. Mm. We are not here to play. Mm. I can't go with all the money I have. I was in Zambia. Mm. My passport, I overstayed my welcome. Mm. I was two days. I realized I didn't say I only got, I think, three days. Mm. And it was my first day. I had to leave. You can't walk into America. These people are just coming in here. Let them go and hold their government accountable. Our people, you know the problem that we are having is, let's go to the Nigerians. No, the Nigerians here, they are selling drugs. Mm. I'm saying this to you. I'm the one, the leader of the PA that tells you, go to Sunnyside. They've taken Sunnyside over. Go to Rosettenville. They've taken Rosettenville. So I'm saying to you, People should never vote for the PA if they feel like you feel to say vulnerable people yeah. must protect vulnerable people. They have a government, we have a government. Yeah. This is the only country in the world, show me one country, Tabo, one country, where foreigners come here, can go in that country and they do as they please. No, no, can I just finish the last sentence? All right, all right. Show me one country. No, I want you to show me no, one there country. Isn't, there isn't. There isn't. No, why there do you want this here? No, there, 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 there is no question about people who come to the country but and let me tell you why why is it though but they, they the, have been kept here the, the rhetoric and the narrative that you create is uh, a, a a system that rises against foreign nationals no that doesn't welcome them in South Africa. the system has already risen against my own people let me tell you the problem is you're making excuses for them and i have no problem my accountant is a zimbabwean yes he came here was papers, he came here legally. Yes. If you jump the fence, there's a difference between the guy that jumped the fence yeah. and the guy that came illegally. Yeah. I'm not saying foreign people have got businesses outside this country. Yes. That's not what I'm saying. Yes. But let me tell you why foreigners are having, illegal foreigners are having a, the time of their lives here. Right. Because the, the, the white, rich business people want them here. It's cheap labor, mm. it's ununionized, they're not unionized, mm. and lastly, real estate. If all these guys leave, the rich whites, the buildings will be standing empty because the locals cannot afford that exuberant rents. You come in this country, you sell drugs, they walk around here like they own the country. They must pray the 28th of October. The Patriotic Alliance is not the kingmaker, because whoever wants our vote, must give us that assurance. I'll make you an example as an ex-criminal. Prison is full of guys, full of guys. They were arrested with their fingerprints. They killed somebody, they took a drink, they drank it, they left it, their fingerprints are there. Mm. People are being killed here, these people are not documented, we don't have their fingerprints, mm. then we want to complain about crime. Mm. You know, I'm saying to you today, I, and I'm saying it without a shame, yeah. go to El Dorado Park, go to Beaufort West. Mm. The whole street in Beaufort West is owned by Somalians. Yeah. The whole street. But that's a problem of policing, is it not? Pardon? It's a problem of policing. No, it's not just policing. Yeah. It is, you cannot blame the police. It is legislation. It's legislation. It's politicians. I'm saying to you as a politician, and may, there must be no ambiguity about what I'm saying. If the PA takes over, we shall take over at 9 a.m. Yeah. At 10 a.m., we shall give a call to say every illegal foreigner go home. 
and we, if you don't go home, we shall remove you out of this country. We shall change the whole border police at the border because they are very filthy rich, those border police. We shall change them. We shall bring in CCTV cameras. I shall build a wall with government money to make sure that if you want to come into this country, you are not coming in and come and sell drugs to our children. That's, that's a very familiar uh, rhetoric. You shall build a wall. All right, let's I continue. heard it from Donald Trump. Uh, that was the best uh, thing ever. Patriotic Alliance leader, Gates and McKenzie. To be a part of this conversation, let us know your views tonight on WhatsApp 072 110 The Newsbeat Late Night continues next. Right, back with you. The Newsfeed Late Night continues here on News from Africa, Channel 405. We have with us Patriotic Alliance leader, Gayton McKenzie, who says 9 o'clock he takes over by 10.30, would have issued a decree that all uh, illegal foreign nationals to leave the country. And he says he'll take state money and build a wall. Let's hear what you're saying tonight on WhatsApp. This one from Davis in Manenberg. Question for Gayton. How will he deal with corruption? What's his take on the petrol price increase? And how will he deal with job creation? I think, you know, the first one with job creation, that's the one that really breaks my heart. Because in this country, all our jobs, the money from, let's say, the PIC, the PIC has given 43 billion, 43 billion to Steinhoff. Steinhoff took that money to Germany, and he created jobs in Germany. I shall use all our pension funds, all the different funds that we have to create jobs for locals. Secondly, why are we exporting all our gold? Why are we exporting all our raw minerals? You look at a place like Daniel Scale. Daniel Scale is surrounded by, um, by iron ore and manganese mines. There's hundreds and hundreds of trucks that go out every day with raw material. Yeah. Why can we not put a stop to it? And for me, that would be the first thing I do to put a stop to the export of raw materials. We look at Plattenberg Bay. They're exporting logs and logs and logs and logs and logs of hood. I am saying then they take it to China. China makes furniture. And then we buy from China the furniture. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you see, we, we have a problem of leaders that's not commercially astute. Not very commercially astute. So job creation will be the number one thing. And, 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 and as far as, 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 as corruption is concerned, you need to build a special place for corrupt politicians. You need to build a special prison. Yeah. A special prison because in our country, I went to Nigeria. Yeah. That country can't operate without corruption, and we are getting there. Yeah. So we got to do, we got to come in and, and give longer sentences. Yeah. We got we to we bring back the death penalty. Yeah. Because, you know, today, I know as a person that, 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 that has a very checkered past, I know of guys that sit in jail that it said they, they got 97 years yeah. sentence. They don't care about killing another person because he's just adding another 20 years. He knows he's never going to come out. Mm. So killing becomes a sport to them. Mm. But if he knows he's going to be killed. Lastly. So what, 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 what one would say, um, you, you went into some marriage of convenience with some politicians who today are, are viewed as, as corrupt. Are you still fighting for that marriage? Elaborate. You are the ANC in Johannesburg. No, you see, that's the problem with coalitions. Coalitions, I don't care. I'll go with coalition with the AWB if they still existed, if they do for the people of Colorado Park. The ANC, the PA, it still stands today. It's the only party that suspended people that, that stole COVID money. And we got the SIU involved. And the SIU report was agreeing with the PA. Mm. We, was, we don't care whether we go with the ENC, whether we go with the DA, we know what we want. We know what we want. We, 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 we like guys jumping in a plane. We are in the same plane, but where we are going, we've got different missions. Yeah. So for us, there's this narrative that it's only the ENC that is corrupt. The DA is worse corrupt than the ENC. Yeah. Let me tell you today, yeah. the DA, it's the most corrupt party in this country. But that's, and that's the thing, though, that many will simply say, Gaten, uh, in the upcoming uh, local government elections, uh, actually, I'm not going to vote. Because, as you say, no one appeals to me, all the parties, all the candidates, you're all the same, each and every one of you. So my vote is worthless. It's really not going to change anything. Your vote is not worthless. We can't be punished for what the ANC has been doing. 
In fact, we are benefiting. The reason why the PA is not getting six votes, as you, six votes as you mentioned earlier, is because of all this nonsense these people are taking. My brother, let me explain something to you about. Let's take El Rado Park. Let's use El Rado Park. When there's a death in El Rado Park, politics or no politics, the people of El Rado Park know where the help is going to come from. Mm. Not from government. Mm. From the PA. When there's a pipe that leaks, the people of El Rado Park knew. The mistake the DA made in Revelee, they repeated in, 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 in El Rado Park. Yeah. Instead of campaigning, they went there and they say, do you know Gaten McKenzie come from jail? Do you know, they spoke about my past of 27 years. Hmm. I'm speaking about the future. And sometimes they go into a house where the mother's children are also in jail. Hmm. They say, like, do you know that he was a criminal? Insulting my past. Hmm. And his mother is listening to them. Yeah. I'm saying to you, the people of El Rado Park and, and, and the black people in the PA, mm. the ones that joined the PA, mm. and the current people there, it's a new kind of people. Let me tell you, I did but 0.1% for this one. Yeah. The people of El Rado Park, the people of Ennerdale, yeah. the people of Rivoli, yeah. they stood up and they worked without pay, being paid. Yeah. The people are tired. Yeah. The people don't know us when we're in government. They know our hearts before we enter government. Right. They let, know our hearts. Let, let's hear what the people in Eldorado Park are saying. Laura, they in Eldorado Park saying, the PA is the party that we've been waiting for. Amen. The coloreds have been neglected and used by both the ANC and the Democratic Alliance. Let's take some more of the WhatsApp messages. Here's a question from Joyce in Pretoria. What is the PA's strategy in regions where the colored areas are minimal? Uh, uh, for example, Gauteng, you've got three regions, namely Tswane, West Rand, and City Bank. That's a very good question. That's why we have people like Colin, leaders, uh, Esrom, we've got people like Kenny Kunene. We've got a lot of, I'm talking about senior leaders in the party that's black. And what I'm saying is the same strategy we had in Beaufort West. In Beaufort West, we, 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 we never thought we'd win it. But we wanted to show that we are not a colored party. In Zamambilo, in that, my brother, the issue here is very clear. Is that the reason why for, we've been ignored for too long. Mm. And in this country, our numbers, and it, is, it was just God ordained, our numbers as colored people mm. are in such a way that even the president in 2024 will come from the colored community. If you understand coalitions, yes, the pres they will not have a president of if, because we've had different presidents, it's time now for a colored president yeah. also to come up. Right. So what I'm saying to you, the numbers, and it's not us that the, the numbers. Yeah. We just look at the numbers. In River, if all the parties in, in El Dorado Park were forming one party, who still have beaten them by 2,000 votes? All the parties together. Mm. We put them in one bag, and they could have, not one by one. Yes. Not one by one. Yes. All of them. But the point I'm trying to make to answer, we are a colorful party. You know, if there's one thing, Imagine colored people has been betrayed. And if you tell me how was colored people betrayed, let me show you how they were betrayed. Nelson Mandela came out of jail. And when Nelson Mandela came out, he told us to all vote for ANC, which we all did, even in the Western Cape. Mm. What happened immediately after Nelson Mandela won? He came and he says, black coloreds are on the same level as white women, on the same level as Chinese. And black people, you are Africans. Mm. Colored people are not Africans. Now you ask yourself, my brother, why did Ashley Creel die? They talk about June 16, but they don't talk about the Ethlone massacre. They talk about Nelson Mandela, but they don't talk about Neville Alexander, they also went to Robben Island. They say that the Hotel Sisulu was one of the longest serving prisoners. Do they know that Harry Distrand Trooper was the first prisoner in Robben Island? He was the first one even till today to escape. What I'm saying to you, Hector Peterson was a colored boy. What I'm saying to you is that colored people fought alongside black people. This ANC then came and they divided us. And the colored people in the PA are saying, Go get our brothers. Mm. Go get our white brothers. Mm. Go get our Indian sisters. We want to bring the real rainbow nation. Because mm. we, it's very hard for color. I don't know one color family that does not have an Indian cousin or a black auntie or a white auntie. Yeah. Now imagine you're you oppressing your, your cousin. 
We can never do that. But the fact remains, they are nervous because they saw us as drunkards. Black men in Goro, a leader in the ANC, said colored people are drunkards. Kaya Makaka, a leader in the ANC, said colored people are dogs. Spielman said colored people, the mayor of Welcome, Matsabain, he said bush, colored people are just bushmans and the soldiers must blood some them. The ANC reinstated him. Now we've been looking at that. No one in this country will dare insult colored again. We're waiting for the next one to call us a dog, to call us a drunkard. You will see what will happen in this country. That time is over. Do you think Jeff Makubo is going to survive? Amid the corruption scandal involving survive. his financial uh, consultant. He firm? can never survive. My brother, as a man that had 35 million in his account, myself, I know what it takes to have 35 million. How many years I had to graph to get 35 million. This mayor gets 35 million and he works for, 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 for the ANC or for the state. How do you get 35 million? I can show where I get my 35 million from. What can he show me where he got that 35 billion? That man is corrupt. That man must go. But honestly, even if they don't let him go, they are in for a high job with the election. Our posters will not have our faces. It shall have Mr. 35 million. He's so stupid. Listen to what he says. He says, as a person that runs companies, he says he was not actively involved yeah, as a signatory in that company exactly yeah. now the most important person in any company is the person signing yeah. they don't even trust me in my own company because they say i'll take all the money to the pa i can't even sign for that jeff was the only one that signed what i feel sorry for is his mother because her names also get mentioned mm. i'm praying that they can have mercy for her the anc will decide if they keep jeff we shall make it very difficult. They shall make it very easy for us to further beat them. But in the city of Joburg, there shall be a coalition. In the city of Ekuleni, there shall be a coalition. The problem with the ANC, it's not even the ANC, I must even retract that. In the city of Joburg, it is members of the ANC. They wanted our vote. We gave it to them. Not the ANC, members of the ANC. They kicked us out. After we get, I said, it's okay. The road is long. Masina, he phoned me 20 times for our vote. I said, no. Kenny said, no, man, let's give him the vote. He never answered my call after that again. The road is long. That's the saying in prison. The road is long. I'm waiting for 28 October. We will see. They thought five years is a long time. As he said, it's not a long time. They're going to need us now. And you know what? It's not, you know, the ANC's problem is they get sometimes blamed for these individuals that want to enrich themselves within the ANC. Mm. But I'm saying to my brother, the PA will remove the DA from the city of Cape Town, something the ANC has failed to do. Or the men says, Mook, our people are tired. In Cape Town, where I live in Cape Town, in Constantia, behind the mountain, they call Cape Town the best city in South Africa. Well-run city. So it's not the most well-run city. It is the bloodiest city for our people. It is the most well-run city for white people and for rich black people like ourselves in the city of Cape Town. If you go to Cape Town today, my brother, our people are staying, they call them backyard dwellers. If you go to Cape Town today, gangsterism is rife in Cape Town. If you go to Cape Town today, our, the people in Langa, that's, it's, it's stinking in Lang Langa. The sewage running in Guguletu. Mm. The shacks burn in Langa and Guguletu. No money. People, no money. We had to run with blankets and stuff like that. In Pal, when it burned, I had to feed those people as the leader of the PA. In Meizna, where we have businesses in Plat. A fire, F and B. All these racist businesses they all contributed but when black people's checks were burning they were not contributing mm. so i'm saying to you Mara, cape town is the worst run city our people are nowhere when i say our people i'm not saying colored people i'm talking about google Earth too i'm talking about langa go and see how those people live you will cry mm. 
You know, there's a woman that shows me a, a baby's toes being bitten by rats. Yeah. Now you want to tell me that's the most well-run city. You know, the problem is they just know how to steal. Because these ones of the ANC are over hungry, so they eat very morsak. Those ones, they eat very slowly, but they still steal. All right, let's take a break. We'll continue with some of your questions tonight with uh, Gayton McKenzie, leader of the Patriotic Alliance on 072-110-5584. You can send those through, otherwise tweet us at Newsroom 405. Stay with us. We're back in a moment.